I'm immune. I don't know. Hello, my I'm here and welcome agents to another Division 2 build video. This is my backfire hazard protection build, or the Trump build, because we're immune to everything. No burn, no foam, no shock, and definitely no bleed from reloading your backfire. So, this build's perfect for this gun. This build is a heap of fun in both PvP and PvE. 330% crit hit damage. That's bloody huge. Oh, that's a lot of damage! And being immune to everything also means that players have to change up their builds or at least they have to change their playstyle. Now, the build's definitely got its weaknesses and I'm not being like all the other flog channels and saying, yay, meta build, OP, this needs to be nerfed. It's just a really fun build with some big boy damage. And like all my build videos, you at least get some gameplay and it shows the build at work. So with that said and done, let's get stuck into this build. First off, the specialization choice. For me, it's gotta be Firewall. That armor kit is still super strong and you do get the bonuses from the shield. I know heaps of people are sick of running into shields in the DZ, but it's the best skill to be running, hands down. Shield skill tiers actually stack to your armor stats, so it's the best one to go for. And they've just rebalanced the shields again, so it's pretty much a must-have. 
As always, the skills are your personal preference, so just make sure that it does suit your playstyle. The build itself, we've got 4 core blues and 2 core reds with 1.5mm armour. The main gun is the backfire and that's the absolute reason I made this build to begin with. It's the new exotic SMG and it was introduced in Title Update 11 as part of your season rewards. Like all exotics, once it's entered your drop pool, it's basically RNG until you pick one of these up. But to get your first one, you unlock your season's reward at level 50. It's pretty easy. I don't have mine maxed out yet and it's really close and I don't want to risk re-rolling to get a potato roll, so I'm leaving it as it is. The gun's talent is called Payment in Kind. Dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of plus one crit hit damage, up to 200 stacks. Now the keen viewer in the opening clip might have noticed that I was shooting decoys. Don't worry guys, I wasn't fooled at all. That's right, shooting deployed skills actually gains you stacks and refreshes your cooldowns. That's decoys, hives, drones, all of that. You shoot those to refresh your talent's cooldown so your stacks stay as high as possible. On reloading, we get bled. No, we don't. Why is that? Because we have hazard protection. So this build completely mitigates the negative side to this talent. The secondary weapon, you can use whatever you like, but I've opted for this Carbine 7. It's the best rolled one I've got and I use in sync. It's a good gun for medium to long range and it works well on this build. So the build itself, to get as much hazard protection as we can, we need 3 piece 511, 2 piece Seska and 1 piece Yarl. The 511 bonuses are health, meh to that, Incoming repairs, which does help if you've got a healer in your team. And that three piece bonus is that 10% hazard protection. This mask has max armor, max crit hit chance, and max hazard. And we've got it modded with a crit damage mod. The chest piece is 511 and it's max crit hit damage and max hazard, along with a crit hit damage mod. The talent I prefer to use is Intimidate, that 35% amplified damage when you're up close within 10 meters with your bonus armor is really outrageously good. Now you could definitely use Obliterate, but you only get up to 25% more crit hit damage, which looks nice, but amplified damage works way better. And with the backfire being the close range weapon, you're going to be up in someone's grill all the time. Definitely, for survivability purposes, you could run Unbreakable, but then you miss out on some damage there. If you like, give all three talents a run and let me know how you went down in the comments below. Just make sure whatever you're using fits your playstyle. The holster is Yell. The one piece bonus is 10% hazard protection. We've got max armor, max crit hit damage, and 8.7% hazard. It's not max, but with all the hazard that we've got, we've hit that soft cap that statuses don't work on us. That's right, you don't need your stats sheet to say 100%. Anything above 95% will make you immune to everything. The knee pads are Seska with max damage, crit hit damage, and hazard. We have a two piece bonus, so we get crit and we get hazard protection as well. And the gloves are Seska and they're maxed, maxed, maxed. The last piece is the 511 backpack and it's so close. 9.4% hazard protection. Max everything else, even that crit hit damage mod. Thanks RNG gods. And the talent you want here is Adrenaline Rush for that bonus armor when you're within 10 meters of an enemy. It does stack three times, so in PVP you get 30% bonus armor. When you have the bonus armor and you're within 10 meters, Intimidate is propped. So not only are you getting more damage, you're also getting more armor to fight within that 10 meter range. Up close in your face is this build's wheelhouse. Like I mentioned before, the skills that you wanna run on this are up to you. Mix it up, try a bit of everything. When they had that over nerf of the shield, yeah, I was running the cheesy foam. I knew nobody else was running this type of build, so you could foam them and then cook them. The shield's now been rebalanced, and like I said before, it scales with your armor as well as skill tiers, so it is the most viable skill to be using in PvE and PvP. The Defender Drone is still my second choice, and I love it. It reduces 10.5% damage in PvP, and I really think it's a must-have skill. But again, it's up to you. Run what suits your playstyle and what you're comfortable with. Over to the stat sheet. 
58% crit hit chance and 131.6 crit hit damage. But Plum, your video said over 300% crit hit damage. That's right, you get 200 stacks of crit hit damage on your backfire. That's capping this build out at 331.6% crit hit damage. That is big boy damage. Wow. Now, I know that's gonna be super rare to hit in PvP, but I've run this build in Summit, solo, and in a team, and on Heroic, and even some of the legendary rooms, this build smashes it. We've also got 70% headshot damage, and because you're fighting up close in somebody's face, it's pretty easy to land those shots as well, for a little extra damage. So I was about to wrap up this edit, and I kind of realized for a hazard protection build, I probably should give you guys the hazard protection stats. So here it is, 98.1% across the board, makes you immune for everything. You've hit that soft cap of 95%, you don't need 100%. So that's the Trump build agents, we're immune to everything and you're gonna have to deal with it. What do you think of the build and the gameplay? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So did you like it? Then smash that like button. And if you didn't like it, you can press the dislike. But remember, support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.